If you're a YouTube creator and you create instructional videos, then this is a tool that I think you're going to want to learn about. It's called Video to Blog. And it's really unlike a lot of the other tools that I've seen that try to do the same thing. This is very dedicated specifically for people that have a YouTube channel. They want to take their YouTube videos, turn them into blog posts. And I think it's going to be especially useful for people that do instructional videos. And I'll show you why. So Video to Blog is a lifetime deal piece of software. It's currently on AppSumo. Just briefly, I'll show you the pricing. I want to get into this tool so you can see how it works. The pricing is very simple. License Tier 1, you get 10 blog posts per month, meaning you can take 10 of your YouTube videos, convert them to blogs. License Tier 2 gives you 20 blogs per month at $99. License Tier 3 at $199 gives you 40 blogs per month. So I think most people will be right in here at the $49 or $99 plan. Just depends on how much content you have. And if you've thought about converting a lot of your stuff over to blog posts and you have quite a few blog posts to do, then you might be in at License Tier 3. So that's all I want to say about the pricing. What I want to show you is what it can do. So this was a recent instructional video I did. It was a review evaluating the SEO capabilities of Koala Writer. And this is the blog post that video to blog created for me. Now, the great thing about this post, first of all, very readable, very easy to understand. It took my transcript and converted it into a blog post, and it really made a lot of sense. There wasn't a ton of editing that I had to do. But the big benefit in this tool is you're going to start seeing screenshots that came from my video. And each screenshot matches up quite well to my transcript. And this was a time-consuming thing about taking a video in the past and converting it to a blog post was getting these images. Getting these screenshots takes a lot of time to do, and they're really important when you are taking an informational video, an instructional video, and converting it to a blog post. This has simplified my life incredibly. It makes it very easy now to convert my instructional videos into posts that I can use on my website. So this is just an example of what it created from this, all the screenshots that it created automatically for me to select and use. And you'll see what I mean when we go through the process. But I just wanted to show you the end product. It's very nice, really worked out well. So let's just get right into the tool. When you open it up, you're going to be in your dashboard. You can see I've already created a couple of posts from videos that I've done, some instructional ones that I've done. The very first thing that you would do is you would go over to this Create a Blog button. Just click on it and then go to your YouTube channel. And could you use other people's YouTube videos and create blog posts from them? You could. I'm not advocating that. I think people put a ton of work into their videos. And so while you could go out to a YouTube channel and grab that URL and convert it into a blog post, that's completely up to you. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm just saying it probably wouldn't be something that I would do. So let's just take one of my recent videos that I did. This blog post workflow using Low Fruits and Neuron Writer and SEO Writing. And so let's just convert this to a blog post. So I'm going to go ahead and get a link. I'm going to go back over to the dashboard. I'm going to enter that. Now, there's one thing that I did want to say. I tried uploading an MP4 file and creating a blog. It did not work for me. I did get a hold of the developer, and the developer said he's working on fixing that, and he responded very quickly, which was great. So I was really pleased with the fact that the, the response from the developer was very fast. So let's go ahead, drop it in. When it's ready to create the blog, you'll see the thumbnail from your video. And then you have some things that you can do here. Now, you could just create the blog, but I suggest going through and giving the tool some more instructions. So for instance, I wanted to add visuals. I wanted to add screenshots. 
Now, I've never tried add stock images, but it does have the capability of adding stock images as well. I just want my screenshots that help people understand where they're at in the process of the workflow, the same as what I show in the video. So you can add links if you want to. You can add your site map and it can automatically go out and look at your site map and try to pull in links to other blog posts that would make sense to link to. In this case, I'm just going to turn off add links, but that capability is there. And then add a CTA. So a CTA is a call to action. Let's just look at one that I used in another post. So you can edit it. You hit the pencil. And then I put in AppSumo is where I buy lifetime deal software. That's the title of it. This is exactly what it adds into your blog post, exactly what you're seeing here. AppSumo is where I buy lifetime deal software. I took a video about chatplayground.ai and I created a blog post to put on my website, mikesaidthat.com. So this is what you will see in there. You can set the background color, text color, button color, button text color. You can add a link so when somebody clicks on this button, then of course it will um, link out to whatever you choose. I'm not going to use this particular call to action, so let's just go back. Well, I'll just say save it, but I'm not going to use this one. So I'm going to turn it off for now. More options. You can set the length if you want to. Now again, you don't have to do this, but you can set the length. Now, this is a very long video, so I'm going to put over 2,500 words, language, I want English. You can pick a tone of voice. They have a lot of different voices that you can choose from. I'm just going to go with informal, a point of view. I'm going to go first person on this because um, that's the way I spoke when I talked about this video. So a primary key phrase. This was a blog post workflow. I'm going to just say blog post workflow is my primary key phrase. And you'll see how this works in a minute. It does some SEO scoring to let you know if you need to use this key phrase more in the blog post. So that's what's really nice about this is you get not only the post created, but you get a variety of tools that you can use to optimize the post. After it gets created, we'll see those. You can add a table of contents if you want to. I'm going to say yes to that. I'm not going to add an FAQ. From the standpoint of format, you can do a variety of different types of formats. I typically choose auto, but you can try some of the others, see if they work out for you. Use chapters as outline. So when enabled, the chapters in the YouTube video get used as the outline for the blog. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use any emojis. And again, I want my full time range, 44 minutes and 46 seconds. And so that's what I'm going to go with. So let's create this blog. You just simply hit create and it'll start working away and transcribing. And then when it's done, I'll show you how we can optimize this using the tools that are internal to uh, video to blog. All right, it's generating the blog, generating the outline. Here's the blog post, starts to appear. Now, if you look up in the top corner of the screen, you'll see that it's still generating the sections of the blog. And it gives you a percentage. I mean, you could stop the generation if you want to. I probably wouldn't unless you realize that, you know, this isn't an article that you want to have completed, but that's typically not a tool that you'd be using. Now it's generating the metadata. It's adding the screenshots for a longer video. It's going to add more screenshots. So of course it's going to take longer to generate those. We're about 78% through now. Now we're at 94% and there you go. It's completed. So here's what your blog post looks like. Mastering your blog post workflow, utilizing Low Fruits, Neuron Writer, and SEO Writing. I like that title. Has this complete table of contents. Introduction to blog post workflow. Here's one of the first screenshots that it shows where I'm looking for some keywords and Low Fruits. So it's got the Low Fruits screen associated with this Use Low Fruits for Keyword Research. So that works great. Narrowing down keyword researches, again, shows you how to do that with a great screenshot. This is what's going to save you an immense amount of time. Because if you had to go through your video 
and just uh, screenshot each section of a video and then turn around and convert those screenshots into JPEGs and pull them into your blog post tool, WordPress, Ghost, whatever you're using, it would take a lot of time. And this is where this tool is great. First of all, the blog posts I think are really good, but second of all, just getting these screenshots is immensely helpful, especially when you're converting an instructional video into a blog post, which you typically would want to do, right? You have your YouTube channel, you've got your instructional videos or whatever kind of videos you have. And then of course you have a supporting website and that's where this really comes in handy. So again, I've tried other tools like Cast Magic, which does a great job at capturing a transcription but I still have to put in all my own images. I still have to screenshot things and pull them in. This is doing it automatically. It's a huge time saver. So I'll just keep scrolling through here. So it's a very extensive article with lots of screenshots that all match up quite well. Again, notice setting the article's title and description. Screenshot matches that. This is the Neuron Writer screen for setting a title and a description. So this is the blog post. But now we're not done, right? So you could regenerate your blog post with custom instructions to further customize this output if you wanted to. In this case, what I'm going to do is go into the next set of tools. They're not readily evident in the screen. You have to click the little icon up here. And now you get a content analyzer. You can look at your SEO metadata, revision history, and a variety of other things. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Let's look at the content analyzer first. So what it does is it looks at the content of this blog post. It gives it a score. Now, this is internal scoring. This is set by the application itself. It says it's 94%, so the blog post optimization score they consider excellent. Now, the one thing that it does say is the blog appears to be written by AI. It says there's an 81% chance this blog was written by AI, according to a tool that they're using called Ghost.ai. Now, I don't know much about Ghost.ai. I can assume it's a credible tool or they wouldn't be using it. I'm not too hung up on this because my blog post is based on my own personal transcription. I have tried this humanized content capability that they have. I didn't like it. I didn't like what it did to my blog. Notice that the readability is at an eighth to ninth grade level, which is what I like to have as a readability score. When I tried to humanize the content, it did a few things. It increased the length of the content dramatically, and it also added misspellings and a variety of other things to try to fool an AI detector. I'm just not going to go down that path. I'm not going to release a blog post that has misspellings in it. I'm not going to try to fool Google into thinking that this blog post didn't use AI to craft it, but I do know it was crafted from my own transcription. Again, this, is, this could be a long conversation and a video all on its own. We're not going to go there. I just was not excited about the results of the Humanize tool. You can try it if you want to. I tried it. That's the only feature that I really didn't like in this tool was the humanized piece. And I just want to be honest with you about that. Um, it shows you how many words the blog post is. It's got 0% from the standpoint of long paragraphs, only 2% long sentences. It's using 37 images. It's using 13 links. So this is my key phrase that I put in when I set this article up, blog post workflow. Notice keyword density is 2%. So somewhere between one and 5% is what they think it should have. Frequency and title, one, that's good. So you just wanna make sure you have greater than zero. Now you can look at the metadata and the metadata, you've got blogging workflow, that's good. Meta description looks good. The slug, you can change the slug if you want to, that's up to you. It's got blog post workflow in the slug. I probably would just have this slug as blog post workflow. You can adjust that if you want to. It shows some various tags that you could use, blogging, SEO, content creation, keyword research, etc. But it does give you some tools here to do some optimization scoring. So we looked at the metadata. That is part of the content analyzer. We just looked at that. 
There, there's a revision history, tells you the last time it was revised. From the standpoint of promotions, this is pretty cool. So you do a blog post, now you want to promote it. It creates all of these promotional pieces for you automatically. So what it does is you can do one of two things. If you copy this, it's actually keeping a copy of your blog post on a shared server. Personally, I would put in a link to my own website. So I'd capture this in the Instagram post. I'd capture my link after I published it to WordPress or Ghost or Wix or Squarespace, whatever. Just get that URL for the blog post and put it in here. Same thing, it's got a Facebook post ready to go. It's got a Twitter post ready to go, a LinkedIn post, WhatsApp post, email promotion, all ready to go so you can promote your blog post. Because we all know after the Google Core updates, you know, promoting blog posts across multiple social channels is pretty important now to gain more traffic. The AI content detector. That's something that I'm not too concerned with. You can play with it if you want to. And then it has this section called More Options, and it just gives you some instructions on how you can put a forward slash anywhere in the blog to see more options, like adding custom AI images, doing more AI writing, adding local images, etc. I haven't played too much with that. Basically, what I've been doing is taking these blog posts straight out of the box, whatever they give me. I go in, I do the editing like I normally do. I want to make sure everything's factual. I want to make sure the screenshots match up to the blog post itself. But this tool is going to be an immense time saver, and the quality of the blog posts is quite high. You know, you'll have to do some minor editing, but at least in the blog posts I've created, the editing was minor. I don't think I had to replace any screenshots at all. So this really does have a lot of capabilities that I think somebody that has a YouTube channel will really appreciate to just quickly take things from video and get them ready for a website or a blog. So there's a settings area that you can go to. It's where you can do integrations. So if you want to integrate with WordPress, with Ghost, it's got a variety of integrations. I'm just not going to expose that page because it's got some other information on it. I don't want to show right now. Of course, clicking the plus sign at any time, you create a blog down here. It's got a help system that you can use. So simply clicking on this, what it will do is it'll pop up a screen with your email address in it. And then you can contact uh, the team at video to blog and they'll answer your question. So let's go back just really fast over to AppSumo. Again, that's the pricing, $49.99 and $199 for license tier one, two, and three. And so far, they have 11 reviews, a five taco rating. I think it's worth going in and taking a look at those reviews. Most of them are really, really good. So if you ask any questions, I've just noted that the person is very quick at answering the questions here. And then if you look at the reviews, game changer for content creators, just what I was looking for, amazing quality, surprised by this one. Do not miss this tool. So I feel the same way. I'm going to be using this tool a lot. Uh, I really like it. I think the quality is good, and that's why I wanted to show it to you. And at $49, you know, if you're, if you're a small channel, you may only be doing 10 videos a month in the first place, right? So at $49, tier one may be just perfect for you. So that's video to blog. That's how it works. I hope you found this video useful. And here are a couple more videos that I think you might want to consider taking a look at as well. Until next time, take care.